and notes of juniper essence. What a combination. Mmm, <laughs> this one smells so good. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Miss Miranda. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm coming to you guys today with another fragrance review and it's going to be part three, as I promised, from the Mason Margiela Replica series of fragrances. Of course, I have part one and two for you guys. It's gonna be linked above so you guys can check those videos out. Please do. So if you wanna see the next two that I'm going to review, stick around. All right, so the next two fragrances out of the Replica series by Mason Margiela are going to be Springtime in the Park and Sailing Day. Let me take out Springtime in the Park. This is a very light pinkish um, tone liquid. Uh, turn it around that way. Let me show you guys the bottle. And of course, I'll have a link in the description box below where you can pick up the collection. Let's spray this one. And shake it up a little bit. And spray it right here. Mm, this is nice. This is very nice. Very nice. Very nice and light. Mmm. And believe it or not, this one is described as a unisex fragrance. Mm-hmm. It says male and female on the original bottle. Mmm, smells so good. I like this one. This is an all year round, light, fresh, flowers. The season is changing. Okay, so let me get the notes for you guys. It's described as a fruity floral scent with notes of pear accord, lily of the valley accord, and musk with green black current. Mmm. Mmm. Smells so good. I can't stop smelling this one because I really, I really, mmm. Really, really enjoy it. I really, really like it. It's not overbearing. It's nice and light. It's mellow. It's actually a very floral, mellow fragrance. I like this one. This one is a keeper. And like I said before, these fragrances last a long time. So you won't worry about, you don't have to worry about reapplying them because they generally last you a good amount of time during the day. Mmm. Black, you can smell that black currant. And that pear. You smell that pear. It's nice. It's nice. Yeah, they picked the perfect name for these scents. Yeah, springtime. Mm-hmm. Springtime in a park. Yep. Exactly. Pick up springtime in a park. I love this fragrance. I think you guys are going to love it too. It's described as being a unisex fragrance, but to me, it goes more on the female side um, of the spectrum. But you have to go try it out and see for yourself. Springtime in the Park by Mason Margiela. And it's part of the Replica series. So let's move on to the next one. Okay. The name of this fragrance is going to be Sailing Day. Sailing Day. Sailing Day. Let's spray this bad boy up. Let's spray it right there. Mm. 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 
Mmm, I like this one. <laughs> Better than I like springtime. And this is also described as a unisex fragrance too. To me, this smells lighter than the springtime in the park. But you know, anything with like that aquatic smell, that oceany smell, they try to get it as light as possible because it's like an experience in your mind. Oh, this is so nice. All right, when you first put it on, yeah, it's very light and you can smell the fragrant, the female um, spectrum of it, but then as it lays down, I don't know, it's giving me like cool water vibes. If you know what cool water is, that's a mint cologne. That's what I'm getting from this one. Mmm. Yeah, I can see this being in a sex. Like, this being unisex. like when the female first wears it in the summer or spring. I don't know, but then it lays and a man can like really quickly splash this on them and just go out the door. They did a good job with one. I, I re they did a really good job with this one. I really like the lightness and freshness of this. Let me see. Let's see what the notes are. So they describe this one as having notes of aquatic accord, coriander, red seaweed, and ooh, and notes of juniper essence. What a combination! Mmm, mm, this one smells so good. Mmm. This brings me to experience in my mind. You're about to go on a cruise, and you just want to feel free, honey. And you just want to spray this bad boy on. And you just want to be fresh with your fresh white linen on, and you just <laughs> walk in the cruise ship and mind your business with your drink in your hand. Mm-hmm. Definitely, definitely, like. When you enjoy fragrances, a lot of the times, especially um, if you're getting dressed, like when you're first getting dressed during the day, you choose your fragrance according to what your outfit is or maybe even what your hairstyle is going to be for that day. That's how I choose mine. So to me, a fragrance is just like where it may be a lipstick shade. Does it match with what you're wearing for that day or what you're going to do for that day or even that evening? This is how I pick my fragrances out of my collections or how I even buy a fragrance when I want to add it to my collection. This is definitely one I would keep in my collection. I would wear this. And to me, like I said, it's like you're going on a cruise ship with this one. It's like this is a vacation scent. This is another vacation scent. And once again, the name of this one, if you didn't catch it before, is Sailing Day from the Replica series by Mason Margiela. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Part three, part three. Um, please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, share this video. Come back for more videos, you guys. Um, as you see, I've tried mukbangs on this channel, so go check out my very first mukbang or mukbang, however you guys describe it. I have that link above for you as well. And please come back for part four, which is going to be the final review from this replica series by Mason Margiela. As always, you guys, please stay safe and stay blessed. Mm, mm, mm. Bye.